everybody. Roman and I are sitting here working on Callum's, um, it's called an Ooh Sieben. And it's basically just his two-year checkup that he has next week. So we have to go through all these different things of his development. Just certain things like, you know, can he run? Can he, like, run around things? Can he, like, play by himself for a while? The only one that I'm not quite sure of, he's a yes for everything, for this whole, this whole list. He's a yes. But there are two that I'm not quite sure of. One of them that I'm not quite sure of is my my child can concentrate about 10 minutes on something and he can as long as it's um, like he can play with his blocks for 10 minutes and he can concentrate on a book and he can concentrate on his cars and he can concentrate on other things that he likes but if it's like art or singing Oh my gosh, he doesn't like the arts. He concentrates on building, and he concentrates on his cars. Mm -hmm. But he will not sit in his playgroup and sing for 10 minutes. He will not do it. He'll run around. I mean, he'll, he'll play, like he'll play with his drums, and he'll dance, and he likes music. But when we go to his playgroups, he just wants to run around and, and be active. He doesn't like sitting in the circle and doing the songs and stuff. He will not. He will not do that. He did in the beginning, but now that he's older and running and walking, he, he doesn't do that. The other thing, too, is um, my child can unwrap small pieces of candy. And he, we don't give him candy, so I don't know. He can unwrap presents, but he never has anything small, so... I don't know how to answer that one either, so I'll probably just leave that one blank and be like, well, I mean, really, he doesn't eat sweets. Mm -hmm. Even if you offer him. <laughs> I know. He, I mean, he's eating ice cream. But... Yeah, but you can't unwrap that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so we're going to leave that one blank. Um, yeah. He can do a lot with his hands, so I'm not too worried about it, but, oh my goodness. And then the other thing, too, is we have to write this whole list of words that he can say in German and, um, like, words. I have to write words in English that he knows because he is bilingual. And his words in English are, like, way more than his words in German. So um, we're not too worried about it because, honestly, like, Roman and I speak English with one another. We should change that. We've tried, though. We've really tried to speak more German together, but we just stink at this. Like, we can't do it. Why don't we speak more German together? I guess it's happened. Yeah. We haven't done nightly cleanup yet, so the house looks a uh, hot mess. That is the A. He got it. Yeah. He found the A, and all of that mess, he found his little letter A. What's that B? What's that B, Ken? Now, next, find the B. B, the B! I can't imagine that being the right one. B! Is it? Yep. It's the right one? Good job! So, I read a study, and the study said that the language that you begin speaking with a person, that that's the language that your relationship will be in. And it's like 99% impossible to, to change that. And that is so true. Roman's family, the, um, I, start, I only started speaking German with them. I never spoke English to them. And now, like, I cannot speak English with them. Even though it's my native language, I cannot speak English to Roman's family because it's like, no, this is weird. We can speak a few minutes in English if you want to practice, but this is weird because our relationship is in German, so it's habit. And for, I think, for, for me and for Roman, we just, we have always spoken English together. So we have tried to incorporate more German, but it only lasts for like five minutes and then it goes right back to English. So I don't know. There's a huge gap between Callum's German and English, that's for sure. But at the same time, he gets more English from me. He hears English every day, every day from me, all day. Understanding is not a problem. He understands, he follows. He doesn't have any problem understanding Roman. He just prefers yeah. to speak back in, in English, right? Yeah. It's my understanding that at this point in his life, understanding is the most important thing. 
Um, he doesn't look at Roman like, huh, what are you saying? He doesn't look like that. He knows exactly what Roman is asking and saying, and he just responds in English. But honestly, he speaks a lot. I mean, I know, I know people whose kids speak like 20 words total, and he's a bilingual child, so it's totally fine. What are you adding? Essen, oh, yeah. And he doesn't really say, like, Klinken, but he'll say Wasser. And he says Papagei. But that's what's so crazy. He knows Papagei, which is parrot in German, but he won't say, like, what, what, what's a simple word that he won't say? Auge. Auge, yeah, I. He knows all of these, but he just doesn't say them. So... That's the different question. If he, if you write, does he understand these? And he knows every single one, but oh well. Are you driving your cars on the ball? Wee. Whoa. Wee. <laughs> Up and down. I like your shirt. My Christmas sweater. Yeah, <laughs> his Christmas sweater, roll tied shirt. <laughs> oh. yeah. Why? You need to clean up, son. It's time to clean up. Cut him off one. Bugger! Yeah, that's it, bugger. This is, this is the story of our lives, huh? Where are all these puzzle pieces? He's missing so many puzzle pieces. I'm telling you, they're under this sofa. Choo choo! Is he putting them on there? Yeah. You're not doing much cleaning, Callum. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here, you little nut. Can you say nut? Nut. Huh? Kiss. Kiss. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Kiss. Kiss. I love it. I love it. Oh. He loves kisses. Okay, look this off. Meanwhile, doesn't he look so cute just reading a book? What are you reading? Kitten. What are you reading? The end? <laughs> yep, now put it in the box. Is that a police car? Put it in the box. In the box. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. In the box. In the box. Good job. Good job. Hi, bye. Hey, going. <laughs> Are you going night night <laughs> in the rug? <laughs> Somehow, uh, cleanup turned into really cleaning up because Cal put so many toys and things underneath the sofa. Yeah, we're going to put all these in. So Roman is going back and he's... Jeez Louise. Here are just some of the things that we've been missing. It's okay. Papa's going to clean. Callum, let Papa clean, okay? Here, give that to Papa. Give... Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. All right, so now it's my job to put all these little pieces up that we have. So much better, huh? So much better. Roman is trying to put Callum to bed and I can tell that it's it's a very difficult process tonight because I hear Callum fussing and um, obviously that's stressful for Roman but at the same time I'm thinking too, oh no, because that means no house of cards tonight. Mm. <laughs> but I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's left such sweet supportive comments on the vlog yesterday. I, I really genuinely try to um, 
to put up, put things out that are positive and happy. And I try to, um, I do try to see the best in things, but sometimes it just gets to be too much. And I think it's just good to be honest and to let it out. I just, I am so, so, so thankful for the supportive feedback in the comments and, um, just offering, offering your love and support. It's just, it means so much, especially since, you know, while we do have friends and family here, in many ways, being an expat is very lonely. It can be very alienating and um, it, it can be very difficult. And I'm just very, very thankful for having this outlet because it allows me to be able to connect with people. And now it, you don't feel as lonely and I don't feel as lonely. And it's really, it's because of what you all say. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow.